Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching. I'm your host to the report of the week, and I want to get right into business. Uh, you know, just just serious business for this video. This is one of those topics, right? Because you know, I go through the the comments, and I, I see who's who's tweeting at me, and what people might be emailing me, and I'm always open to suggestions, right? And if enough people do suggest something, I'll certainly consider it, and maybe I'll just go for it. And this is one of those things that a lot of people have been contacting me about, and I said, all right, what the heck, let's just go for it. Taco Bell. Title says it all. A lot of people wanted to know what my favorite items on the Taco Bell menu are. And you know, I know a lot of people do like a top five or a top ten, and I was trying to narrow it down to just one, you know, just one item. And I was having trouble doing that, so I said, all right, I'm just going to make it uh, a top two. You know, my two favorite items on the Taco Bell menu. Because, I mean, Taco Bell is one of those places that I've had, uh, you know, things initially were a little, a little rough, a little rocky. Uh, when I remember when I first started seriously reviewing Taco Bell back in, I think... 2013, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it was, I was having issues with it. And I remember I tried their grilled stuffed nacho, and I hated it. I mean, I think I gave that, that thing like a, a 1 out of 10. I thought it was absolutely terrible. Taco Bell, granted, and I think a lot of us can really agree upon perhaps just this one fact exclusively, Taco Bell can be a little bit of an acquired taste. But the one thing that I have to give them credit on is their diverse menu. And when you really go through there enough, and it might end up being trial and error, I think Taco Bell is one of those places that really does have something for everyone. I mean, like, like just look at this, for instance, right? You look at the most basic thing on their menu, the soft taco. Well, right there. Comes with seasoned beef, cheese, lettuce. You can get that, you know, customized. All right, well, I'm not a fan of the soft shell. All right, then I can get a hard shell taco. Not a fan of the hard shell? You want some a little spice, extra flavor? Perhaps try the Doritos Locos taco. You know, maybe you're satisfied with that, but you want to add some ingredients? Go for it. You want to make it a supreme. Just add some tomatoes, sour cream to it. You know, there's so many things you can do at Taco Bell to the most basic taco. And I was just thinking about this this evening as, as the ideas are just swirling around. And I was thinking about the Taco Bell menu. And man... It is a very diverse menu. You've got to give them credit for that. Like I was saying, you can get the most basic taco. You can build onto it. You can take ingredients away from it. You're not a fan of the way this one thing tastes? Well, add a sauce to it and go from there. I mean, there's so many things. And then you start looking at more of their specialty items, right? You get their chalupas. Uh, you get the, uh, right, the cheesy gordita crunch. You can go for that. Classic right there. Not a fan of tacos? That's fine. You can get their burritos, their quesaritos, their quesadillas, their nachos. Uh, you can get their crunch wraps. And then the breakfast menu, too. I mean, that, that right there, the breakfast menu from Taco Bell is underrated. I remember I did a review for that probably... Now it's been a, probably about at least a year ago, maybe more. But I was satisfied with it. I mean, you know, I, I, I tried out some of their breakfast items, and it was pretty good. And like I was saying... Taco Bell is one of those places that's hit or miss. A lot of the time, right, I'm trying their new releases, the new things that, that come out, and some of them I really enjoy, like the nacho fries, you know? That was, I mean, that was delicious. And then there were other things like, you know, cer certain wraps or burritos, or and it, it just didn't blend together the way that I hoped for it to. And it was just more on the disappointing side. So for me, when I'm trying out, their, you know, new releases, they can be hit or miss. Some can be really good, and then some can be really bad. But when it comes down to those established classics, right, on the menu, that you know they're not going anywhere, they are there to stay, you will find that little niche. Like I said, it might take a little while, but you will find it. And one of the things that I got to give them credit, you know, they got a really diverse menu, something for everyone, in my opinion, Another thing, well, two other things. They're inexpensive. And, I mean, the hours are pretty good. Like, the Taco Bell near me is open till I think, 2 a.m., which is great for a night owl like me. 
they're open, I think, at probably 6, 7 a.m. So, I mean, they have really good hours. And price-wise, I mean, you can get food for a dollar. And, again, if it's that one thing on the menu that you like, satisfies that craving. And even, let's just say you're, you're taking a shot in the dark, right? And you're thinking to yourself, all right, well, should I go for it? Should I not? You look at the price, and you look at it as whatever it is you're going to get. And sometimes you just ask, you have to ask yourself, I mean, what is there to lose? You know, my life, you know, just that, uh, you know, so, I mean, when you, when you look at everything, there goes the notes, uh, if you look at everything right there, you just have to say to yourself, yeah, Taco Bell, we might have a bone to pick with certain items on their menu, but I think we all have our favorites. And a lot of people wanted to know what my favorite items on the Taco Bell menu are. And like I was saying, I narrowed it down to two. So without further ado, uh, how about we just go from, I don't know, we'll, what, what should we do first? I guess, I guess we'll go with the, uh, the, the second, second most favorite, then we'll kind of build up that anticipation and get the favorite, favorite item, right? So I'm trying to be all special and secretive, right? We got our bag of, of uh, Taco Bell treats. Uh, even with their, their late night theme going. So my second favorite item from Taco Bell, the Cinnabon Delights, right there. This is my second favorite item from Taco Bell. Oh yeah, the Cinnabon Delights, those are, those are delicious, I gotta say. There's, there's a reason why this is one of my my favorites from Taco Bell. Here's a close-up. Because, I mean, to me, it is just such a perfect dessert. Now, I've always been a fan of Cinnabon. Uh, you know, just something about it always just hits the spot. And I think that these are just great after you're done eating, you know. They're so small. You could just pop it right in. Uh, even even with review bra-sized bites, the, these still are just, they're great. It can be bite-sized. You can make something more of it. But it's got the cinnamon sugar coating. And then it's just got this cream filling, and it just makes for a delicious dessert. And I mean, it goes well on its own. They're good heated up. They're good even cold. You can heat them up later. And I mean, they last. They're just a really good, long-lasting dessert. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, it just... Even if you're not a fan of cinnamon sugar, it's one of these things that's it's worth giving a try. I think they come in like a four-pack, and then a six-pack, and then maybe like a 12-pack. Maybe it's a two, four, and 12. I always get the four-pack. That's enough for me. Works out good. And then that cream filling is just a really good contrast, you know, to the, uh, you know, just the cinnamon sugar blend on the surface. And it's just an awesome dessert. The Cinnabon Delights from Taco Bell. That's my second favorite item. And now to my most favorite item on the Taco Bell menu. Let me reach down and grab it. The Mountain Dew Baja Blast from Taco Bell is by far, I mean, hands down, my favorite item right now available on their menu. Uh, the Baja Blast by Mountain Dew is, is a, great, a great item, I gotta tell you. Every time I go to Taco Bell, now this, this goes without anything. No matter what I get, what I order, what it is that I'm consuming, I always wash it down with this. Uh, because ever since they released it, I mean, this is, it, it's, it's great. It just has this, I don't know, this, I've never really been a Mountain Dew drinker at all. But of all the things there, it just has this certain refreshing blend to it. Where it's not too sweet, it's it's not too tart, though. It's just this certain coolness that it has to it, along with just that carbonation, but it's still smooth to drink. It is just a perfect accompaniment, I guess. I, that's probably the best way to say it, to uh, any item from Taco Bell. Very aesthetically pleasing, too. I mean, you can just see it right there, you know, just 
I don't know, I think it's just very aesthetically pleasing, to be honest. It just tastes great. And, I mean, it just pairs so well with any Taco Bell item, in my opinion. So, every time I go there, you can always count on me getting the Baja Blast from Taco Bell. Like I said, very easily, hands down, uh, my, my favorite item on the Taco Bell, Taco Bell menu. But since it's such a delicious and versatile, maybe a deliciously versatile item on their menu. And I, I guess, I guess if I had to give a runner-up, uh, so I was, I was, I was almost, you know, I couldn't, I was trying to figure out, well, is it going to be the Cinnabon Delights or not? And I said, well, all right, the fire sauce, I got to give, I got to give them credit. Fire sauce is pretty solid as well. So those are my two favorite items on the Taco Bell menu. Uh, I just got to say, both of them hit the spot. They're just delicious. And uh, yeah, definitely the, the two best things, in my opinion anyway, that Taco Bell has to offer. So a lot of people were wondering about this. A lot of people were contacting me. And I hope this answered your questions. Whenever I go to Taco Bell, you can count on me getting those things. That's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Uh, some guy was telling me something about the nacho fries coming out, so if they do, maybe we'll try those out again. And also, check out my podcast, soundcloud.com slash V-O-R-W. Thank you, and I'll see you again in a few more days with another video. Take care.